So, The Ultimate Guide to Divination by Liz Dean, The Beginner's Guide to Using Cards, Crystals, Runes, Palmistry, and More for Insight and Predicting the Future. They do go into more, and to me, yeah, it is a beginner guide, because a few of the div divination, divination practices can range from one page to a few dozen pages, like the tarot um, section. It has a quick snapshot of each card, and so it takes a few pages to explain. Also, like the crystal ones, it does take a few pages. It doesn't go into every single crystal, but there's a few different to topics that the author has gone into with it. So, for example, preparing uh, for a crystal reading, uh, there's a section on crystals in relation to readings. There's a few different reading examples. And so for a few other ones, like, uh, I forget if it's, if they have one for runes and tarot, but there's some other ones that it goes in, that she puts in examples of readings for. So there's a quick reference guide not a, re a guide, but a quick reference to a few crystals, the tarot cards, r the runes, and it does have a few pictures to show what they would look like, what they look like. Uh, it has the runic calendar as well in it. So, yeah, so that's about what it, um, about what it has for like content wise it is pretty easy to understand it is very quick but it is a good jump off base of information and there is one page at the back where it has uh, where you can record your reading so it has date and then insight portion of it it's not a huge bibliography and the content, the index pages is longer than the bibliography. The bibli bibliography is about a page and there's not very many resources that ha has been used in the book. But again, for me, it's a very quick introduction to many divination practices. So if you do find one or two or more divination practices that you like in this book, yeah, you can continue on researching with a few resources in the bibliography or continue doing your own research of those practices because with the practice, the divination practices in this book, you can find a way more resources of like websites, videos, books, and whatnot of these practices on your own. But it is a good start if you don't know what kind of divination practice that you want to go into if you want to do a practice of divination. So uh, for me, it is a really quick introduction, quick information about these practices. If you want to have a little bit of your hand in everything, yeah, this book can be helpful getting your foot in the water for them. But yeah, it, I found it to be a very good starter point. And it's not a book to poo poo on. It's, I found it to have some, to not some, but to have good points to continue on to jump off into the da to the de to the deep end of whatever di divination practice that you would want. So, The Ultimate Guide to Divination by Liz Dean. Happy readings.